So um, let's try to do these types of problems. So what is the number of inner electrons for this atom and what is the effective nuclear charge for it? Okay? So the number of inner electrons that's going to equal the noble gas previous plus the fill D's plus the fill X. So in order to do this, probably the best thing to do is write the electron configuration, or at least the condensed electron configuration. So in this case, um, let's write the uh, electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Okay, so when we do that, we should realize that this is the noble gas configuration there, um, noble gas neon, and it's got 6, 2, 2, so that's 10 electrons. And do you guys see any d orbitals up there? Any f orbitals? So, plus 0 electrons, plus 0 electrons. So another name for these inner electrons you might see is core electrons, sometimes we'll say that. So the number of core or inner electrons in the sodium atom is 10 electrons. Is everybody okay with that? So how do I figure out the effective nuclear charge? So remember, capital Z is nuclear charge. So Z effective is going to be the total nuclear charge minus the number of inner electrons or core electrons, whatever you prefer. And so Z total for sodium, we have to again look at the periodic table, it's 11 minus the number of inner electrons. Now this is just the number, okay? So don't try to make it a negative. And then when we do that, it's good to put a positive there, honestly, because it's an overall positive effective nuclear charge. Okay, so the Z effective for the sodium atom is going to be plus one. Okay, and the number of inner electrons is going to be 10. Are there any questions on that one? Is that the same thing? Like, could you just look at it and see the oxidation of it, like, has any, like, oxygen? Do it, do it this way, okay? No, it'll, it'll, it'll come in helpful when we're doing, like, transition metals and yeah. things like that. So just get used to doing it this way, okay? okay. Any, any other questions? 